Today we're making a stuffed leg of lamb and cooked on the rotisserie. So this is a boneless leg and as you can see it doesn't have a bone but it's not laying flat for us to roll up. So we need to butterfly the lamb. We do this by making shallow cuts horizontally into the lamb to just kind of open up the meat. And these are not you know, maybe half an inch to an inch deep but you just take your time and eventually you'll get the the lamb to be completely flat and open and even thickness. Next we need to remove the fat cap because too much fat is not necessary for a rolled roast. And you can see again we're just using those horizontal cuts and it's a very sharp knife just pulling the fat back away from the meat. Try not to get any meat when you're trimming. Um, but it does happen sometimes so just you know you can go back and fix those mistakes if you don't cut all the way through. Um, this takes about 15 minutes to do. Then we're just adding the filling and this is a feta and mint spinach uh, walnut filling and you just spread all of it out over the lamb. And you can see how nice and even that lamb is from what it was to, to now. You roll it up not too firmly but not too gently either and you're going to tie it with some kitchen twine and then we stick it on the rotisserie and this is just a gas grill and it took about an hour and a half to get to a perfect medium rare but I've got information on all the different kinds of donenesses you might want. It needs to rest for about 15 minutes before you carve it but when you do you're in for a treat. And look at this. This is you know, the first cut. Obviously, you have a little bit more doneness because it's toward the end. But as you go into the meat, you'll see that it's a beautiful medium rare. And I actually cooked it for about uh, five minutes less than we could have because I didn't want to overcook it. And there's a residual cooking afterwards. So those are the broad strokes. Check out the recipe on Garlic and Zest for the full details.